Hi, everyone. I'm Antoine. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to introduce Kubespray CI, so how we migrated from the cloud to bare metal using Kubebuilt. If you're not familiar with Kubespray, it's a community project from C cluster lifecycle to manage a community's cluster, so from installation, upgrade, and so on. Under the hood, it's using QADM and Ansible. So the main goal of the project on one side is to deploy and manage production cluster, so we're not focusing on uh, developer experience, and also uh, to provide a lot of options. So say we can many operating system, uh, network plugin, container engine, and so on. So to, to achieve this goal, the test platform is very key for the project uh, in the last four years. To dive a little bit how it was working, uh, when we have a new PR, which we got a job, and we try to do end-to-end -end, uh, tests. So say we want to test on CentOS, uh, this branch, we would request through the Cloud API three new VM uh, CentOS. Once we get the IP, we can then deploy a Kubernetes cluster using Qspray uh, script. And on the Kubernetes cluster is ready, we can check if it's confirmed. All right. So here comes the problem. Uh, this infrastructure has been sponsored so far and still sponsored by CNCF, and we've been asked to migrate to bare metal, which is perfectly fine. Uh, OpenStack can do it well. But when we ask who wants to maintain an OpenStack, obviously, we're still waiting for an answer. <laughs> so, so, thank you. So we, we're trying to think about differently how we could use Kubernetes to deploy VM, like the same way we can deploy a container. Would it be great to have like a large Kubernetes cluster and uh, create subcluster to test inside this one? So when we are thinking about that, luckily we found this project. We we're exactly trying to solve uh, this problem, Kubevirt. Kubevirt defined a new object, Kubernetes resource, named virtual machine, to define your VM. So it's using uh, you can define your resources, uh, and one interesting point also, you can embed your VM image inside a container, so you can also reuse all the container registry infrastructure to manage and store VM images. So now we have a, a tool that we can use to get everything we are familiar with Kubernetes, so using the Kubernetes API through the CRD, also the VM uh, shares the same network, and recently also the scheduler. So when we, you, requ you request, uh, VM, let's say, with two gigabytes. This is a Kubernetes scheduler. We're going to position it in different nodes. So now, if we go back to the CI, our, the step, instead of contacting a cloud API, what we do is just create a namespace for the test case and just apply this VM definition to get VM. And the next step are exactly the same. We just get the VM. So this IP, we just watch for the endpoint of Kubernetes. We reuse all the Kubernetes API. We get the endpoint IPs and we deploy the Kubernetes. To schematize a little bit, so I say on the bare metal, we deploy a large Kubernetes cluster uh, using Kubespray, kind of to dog food our own project. And then for each job, we create a separate namespace, uh, by different color here, and deploy a Kubernetes cluster on each of them. So in the end, we have effectively Kubernetes in Kubernetes uh, this way. Yeah, that's also. If we think about it now, we more or less create for Kubespray CI Kubernetes in Kubernetes as a service, where each branch, each PR would trigger request a new cluster to be deployed. So in our use case, and we do it with strong isolation using VM. So in our use case, we're using for short term, but obviously we can also think about use cases where it would be for each team get an isolated uh, cluster. That's all. If you're more interested for Kubespray, we have a deep dive on Thursday, and Kubevit, there is a meetup, and a few talks also on uh, Wednesday. Yeah, that's it. Don't hesitate if you have any questions.